Thank you. Uh, kitchen, I'll be in the kitchen next. Stay tuned. up for your HSN email? Sign up for HSN emails now to stay connected to our hottest deals of the week. You'll even receive exclusive coupons. Never miss a today's special. We'll send you the scoop on our best value of the day straight to your inbox. Head on over to hsn.com now and search email to sign up today. The Patricia Nash brand is all about old world craftsmanship. Italian leather, and amazing quality. We started with handbags and accessories. Now we make amazing scarves and hand-weaved shoes. It's taking all of that old world craftsmanship and memories of our heritage or travels abroad, bringing it all for today's woman. cook. It is my greatest happy place. I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm an author, I host a television show, and I get to cook for a living. To share with others the solutions that are working for me, I can't think of a better job. Now I have the most incredible opportunity to develop multi-use products that were space-saving and smart. I wanted people to get these products, open them up, use them in their kitchen, and think, ah, oh, this is just what I've been waiting for. Well, we could not be more excited that Kelsey Nixon is back at HSN. She's an Emmy-nominated TV personality, author, mom, extraordinaire, uh, really brings us great items for the kitchen yes. to make life not only fun, but easy, not right. complicated, right? I really believe that something should look as good as it functions, and that function is so important to me. So it if is. I'm going to bring it to you, it's going to be easy and manageable. Well, I like that, because <laughs> I seem to, sometimes life gets overcomplicated. Oh, tell me about so it. So it's really nice, and one of the things that does make me happy is not only Kelsey being yes. here, but our popcorn maker. Because who doesn't love popcorn? Everybody loves popcorn. They do. It's so much fun. It's such an easy snack, and it's a healthier alternative when you compare some of the other snacks that totally. we might tend to go for. You know, that's a great point. Popcorn, really, and I'm just going to pull this right out of okay. here. And I want to show you, first of all, eight cups. You're going to get eight cup capacity in here, that's which is good. incredible. It's really good. But on the healthy factor, this has got fiber, it's low fat, it's oh, low it carb, good. such a great snack. You could dress this up with just a teeny bit of salt and have this only 30 calories per cup. I mean, find me another snack that's as satisfying as popcorn that's only 30, 30 calories, calories per cup. So wow. for me, I love reaching for it. I call this my Monday through Thursday uh, snack. But when it comes to the weekend, I do like to doll it up a bit. Yes. And, and have a little bit of fun. So we're gonna do that. First okay. of all, do you mind if I go through the no, colors really quick? Please, okay, so that way everybody that. can order. Um, we have it in your red. So this is just your classic poppy red. Really fun and nostalgic. You can even see on the front, it says popcorn. So it's just really cute even sitting on your counter. We have it in your mint. We have it in the yellow, which we call canary yellow. And then your Moroccan blue. You're also going to get the recipe booklet, which comes with 10 sweet and savory recipes. This is $19.95. It's our lowest price. So we've taken $10 off. We also have that free shipping and two flexible payments of $9.98 to get it at home. Let's talk about, since we said it's easy yes. to use, do we just, no complicated? I'm telling you, it is, I use one third measuring cup. You can use any popcorn kernels. Okay. I tend to buy whatever's on sale, but really any will work that goes into, now this is glass, and it's great because it can go straight into the dishwasher, which I do all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's awesome. Now on top, you've got the silicone lid here with these uh, vented holes, and what can happen here is if you put a pat of butter, which I like to do, as the this cooks in the microwave, that butter's gonna melt and coat every single kernel of that popcorn. So it's not like now you're just you're talking eating that buttery flavor on top, but it's going to coat throughout. And that's it, that's literally all you have to do. You're gonna pop this in the microwave, hit that popcorn button, or as you make more and more popcorn, I know in my popcorn, or my microwave at home, it's exactly two minutes and 50 seconds for perfect popcorn. That's wow. it, really, really simple. I mean, think about how easy that is. 
and this is, uh, you don't have to worry about like any like chemicals, anything that would be in those bags of popcorn. I know a lot of us think, I love the bagged popcorn, it's simple, I just pop it in there, but I want you to really think about what you're ingesting. Absolutely. When you look at the chemicals and everything that, and I, don't, I guess I shouldn't say chemicals, but no, just. No, but truly, in fact, let's yeah. do this. I, I even hesitate to do this because it's almost scary to see what's oh. inside these bags. But when oh you look inside there, this yellow that is gunk really gross. and goop, that's not something you want to have. It's not something you want to feed your family. It's lined with PFOA. It's really just not, I mean, there is almost more gunk than there is popcorn kernels in there. Right. And it's so simple to do this. You know, we put the pat of butter on top. You don't have to do that, but you right. absolutely can. Um, and I love it. It adds just enough buttery flavor. And because it's mm. coating every single kernel, I feel Right. you don't need quite as much butter. Mm. Um, so we've talked about the health benefits, but I want to get a little bit indulgent here. Okay. Um, I've got a six-year-old little boy at home, and we had a birthday okay. this past month, and so he's really into birthday cake popcorn right now. So birthday I cake am going to take my, my blank canvas, and I am going to add some white chocolate to my oh, popcorn. Stop it. I know. Now, should yeah. this be cooled slightly, or do you, it does doesn't it matter? Honestly, we go straight from the microwave, so okay. it is so flexible. You don't have to worry about that and then the rainbow sprinkles i mean this is just the okay that's really jet. fun so fun um man you could really have this instead of birthday cake you can have your birthday cake popcorn yeah you could just stick a little candle in there and as that uh, chocolate cools it hardens up a little bit so you get these little uh, popcorn pieces that are just so much fun they are and you know one of the things i think maybe you're going i'm not really a white chocolate i like the dark chocolate yeah you could do dark chocolate with the sprinkles right so We've you could do whatever you want totally and We've the nice thing is, Kelsey, is that you are in control. Yes. You are customizing. A lot of us are really trying to watch what we're eating, what we're drinking. We're trying to lead and live healthier lifestyles. With our popcorn maker, this is done in the microwave. It's borosilicate, glass, and silicone. So you don't have to worry about any of the chemicals. It's dishwasher safe. You can see it says popcorn right on the front. So it is nostalgic. I like it even if you just want to leave it sit out on your counter empty and ready to go. You could use a little mason jar to put some of your popcorn Holy, kernels in so it looks cute. really cute instead of going for the really bad things that have all of those saturated fats and all of the things right. that a lot of us really sh know we shouldn't be eating but sometimes when we don't know what kind of snack we want we reach for the bad thing instead of thinking about popcorn right absolutely you know we've showed a sweet option i want to show you some savory options because you're going to get okay. some really fantastic recipes i find mm, myself being surprised over and over again that at these fancy gourmet restaurants now they are serving popcorn as an appetizer Oh, that's good. It really is a fun, trendy food. So I've got a rosemary Parmesan popcorn here where I've got some freshly grated Parmesan, some rosemary. I want you to try that one. I mean, this one is mm. so... So, so good. yummy. That's really fancy. Very fancy, but really not because it's two ingredients mm. and you've got your popcorn. But fancy in the sense of like the flavors. Absolutely. Fancy and it's not traditional, but it's unexpected. Like if you're having your girlfriends come over, imagine right. taking the fresh rosemary Maybe you're someone like me. I have a little garden in the back of our yard that I have fresh rosemary, fresh basil. So you can really get creative and have fun when the girlfriends come over, you have a little party. Um, if you want the... Uh, sorry, poppy red. The poppy red that you're seeing in the video right now is the most popular. You have that dispenser, the silicone lid that keeps all the popcorn in so it doesn't make a mess, but it also put a little pat of butter on the top. And now that's dispensing the right amount of butter on the top. Then we have our Moroccan mint. So here's that Moroccan mint. We have it in the canary yellow. And we have it in, oh no, what did I do? No. This is mint, yes. this is Moroccan. Blue. So yes. Moroccan blue, there you go. I, want, I, I liked Moroccan, I was just gonna, I, just gonna go with I it. was gonna throw Moroccan <laughs> in front of everything. Um, so those are all four colors, but what are you showing us next? Okay, so one thing, another thing I really like to do is once this popcorn comes out, sometimes it will actually add some of my seasonings in here, shake it up, and this guy can go straight into the dishwasher, which is incredible. Okay. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is I just poured this guy out and I don't know about you but when I'm using those microwave bags I get tons and tons of kernels that are left over yes. that's not gonna happen here it's going to pop every single kernel in there you're not going to have any of those residual popcorn kernels that you end up chomping down on and, and, and at the dentist the next day and it's a really full nice bowl which is so great I want to do one more uh, flavor combo we're okay. gonna go 
we're going to go a little crazy. It's almost football season. It right? is. And yes. We're big Tailgating. Football fans. Right. Yes, big football fans in my household. Um, mm. I really like to entertain with popcorn. Okay. And so this is something I started doing last year that was a hit. I am taking some melted butter with my favorite wing sauce. This is going to go over my popcorn. Now, did you mix the wing sauce and melted butter? And the melted butter. Okay. And this goes right over the top. I like to mix it up, top it with a little bit of blue cheese and celery salt, and this is the hit of the party. People, it's so simple though, anyone can do this. Anyone can do popcorn, and it's a lot easier than making wings, I'll tell you that much. I'm, I'm, I'm suspicious of oh, that Oh no, <laughs> it's so good. It's one of those Ooh, things. I can smell it. You can smell it. I can smell I'm it. I'm telling you. Should I try it? Let's try, try it. Because I do like wings. And then sauce. finish with the, the, uh, the birthday cake, and okay. I'm gonna show you here Could how. Could you add like cheese? No, look, I'm like. Mm -hmm. No, blue cheese. Blue cheese, yeah. Blue cheese on top with, oh, Stop yum, yum, yum. It, I know. Right? Come that on. That is really good. Oh, good, right? Really good. Good. So this is what I was telling you earlier. I've Ooh, it got, could use blue cheese. Oh, yeah. See, it could use mm. a little blue cheese. Oh, I'm going to do that for football see, season. She was suspicious. She loves it. My mom always told me, you have to try it before you say you don't like that's it. That's right. That's that right. was our rule in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I'll just add my ingredients right in here. Okay. I'll pop that lid back on top and shake it up. And you'll notice this has just come out of the microwave, and it's still really comfortable to handle. And then I'll just take this to the couch. Kelsey, with me. does it make a difference if you put the ingredients in when it's just the kernel or when it's popped afterwards? You're going to want to do it when it's popped afterwards. Okay. That way you're going to get a really even pop. But I will tell you that I think that when you add the ingredients straight in here where you've got some of that steam, mm -hmm. it almost infuses that popcorn flavor or that rosemary flavor into the popcorn. Right. So like I said, I'll take this, go sit down on the movie, have, or the couch and have a movie night with my husband. It was just so satisfying. You know, I knew I liked you. Oh, she <laughs> said she takes it to her sofa and just Why eats not? it like <laughs> Why, Why not? It not? even has a handle. I know. So I have my popcorn and my wine. <laughs> That's, what else do you need, really? Really, really, I don't really. Know. Beside my husband and my dog, I'm, you know, I'm pretty golden. You're pretty golden. I'm pretty the golden. The other thing I want to mention is my mom was so excited I was coming. <clears throat> she's going to grab a few more of these because my mother is the Hi, ultimate. Hi, Mom, if she's watching. Oh, Kathy, she's the best. Hi, Kathy. She's the ultimate gifter. Okay. And she keeps these in her gift closet because they are such a great gift. Right. Whether it's for a wedding or it's a housewarming <clears throat> gift or even a birthday. Wow, that's really Man, good. Man, woman, kid, anyone is mm -hmm. going to love this gift. And it's it's kind of like ice cream, right? Totally. Like we all love ice cream, we get excited about it. Right. It's like popcorn. I remember as a kid too, like my mom, that's her favorite snack. She eats popcorn all the time. My mom used to do it, well she doesn't used to, she still does, but on the stove. Yeah, but totally. my mom is kind of like me in the sense we get distracted very easy. Yeah, sure. And like she's a shopper too on television where she'll like, oh, I gotta order that. Right. And then the popcorn would burn. And then it burns. <laughs> and then it burns. And then the whole house smells totally. like smoke. Like you don't have to worry about that with the microwave. No. Now, how do I know how long to put it in the microwave? So you can do couple of things. Start by pushing that popcorn button on your microwave. That's a really good place to start. If oh. you notice that there are maybe a few kernels left to be popped, add an extra 5-10 seconds. Okay. I've, I've gotten very specific about my science of popcorn popping at home, but really anywhere between two and a half and three and a half minutes is going to be your sweet spot, but I'd start with that popcorn That's button. That's perfect. So, okay, yeah. and then I think once you learn like how long it takes, then you, you, know. you won't have to stand there. I mean, maybe like the first time you get it at home, just kind of watch it yeah. and see, and then you'll know that time. Oh, it takes three minutes. It takes two Two minutes and then you'll automatically do it now uh, almost a thousand spoken for today poppy red there my producer is saying if you want it now is the time so even think about for just gifts going into the holiday season I know you spoke about oh, that it's such a birthdays great anyone who just maybe is getting a new apartment back to school they come home want a healthy snack you pop a little popcorn it does eight cups by the way so that poppy red is the most popular then we have it in your mint so that's your mint then we move into your Moroccan blue. So here's the Moroccan blue. And then we also have it in your yellow. And really, the borsilicate glass is just all glass, and the only pop of color is on the actually sign that says popcorn, yes. right? Yep. Yep, okay. so it's a really nice modern streamlined design. The colors are so fun. It's just enough to have a good time. But like you yeah. said, you can keep it out on your counter. We're doing this. We bake popcorn at least three nights a week. It's something that we yeah. do um, and we really love it. And you can keep it out on your countertop. It's really fun and easy to use. I mean, you're gonna be like a hero oh, if you serve this. I mean, what was in this? 
chocolate lover's s'mores popcorn. Chocolate lover's s'mores popcorn. Sign me up, right? Wow. Wow. Yeah, I could just take this whole, <laughs> the day I was having, I could just have this whole bowl. That's right. <laughs> I'm just saying. So 554273, sometimes food does fix it. Sure does. <laughs> I shouldn't sure say does. that, but it does. It right? sure um, does. All right, so here's what's happening. Free shipping, two flexible payments. Kelsey, thank you so much for thank being you. here. It was so much fun working with you. love it. Um, all right, we'll see you later on okay. throughout the day. Sounds good. All right, coming up, I am in the kitchen the entire hour. Uh, that popcorn maker was really a great start because it was a lot of fun. Now, one of the things when we talked about a lot of us wanting to make healthier choices, how about having our Dash vacuum blending system with the recipes and the bags? This is a powerful vacuum blending technology where it removes the oxygen. It removes the air and gas. Why is that important? Because now you are going to have a smoothie, soups, purees that are smooth. They have no oxidation, no discoloration, also no separation as well. So that means it removes the oxygen, preserving that taste. It is incredible technology, such an advancement in a blender. And a lot of us go, oh, do I really need that? Yes, I want you to stay tuned because we're gonna tell you more about it. It's the only vacuum blender we offer here at HSN and it is the lowest price we have ever offered. But we are moving into a product I always have fun with. <laughs> and this is from jo with John Florell. This is our chopped speed grater and slicer. You know, I always say one of the biggest conundrums in the kitchen is chopping, slicing, dicing, grating, blending, all that stuff, right? And we have to pull out the food processor. Did you just see how fast John <laughs> did that? Like in seconds. I know. It really is incredible. Now, what we're offering is we have, I believe, Jared, correct me if I'm wrong. Do we only have like, I think about like 1,500 of these to go around? Okay, we have far less than that. We have 1,200 to go around. You're gonna get the unit itself. Look at how compact and small. The red is available. Oh, I have 90 left in the red, so that's gonna be a fast sellout. Then we have it in your gray, and we have it in your white. Everybody gets the little pusher. Everybody's gonna get three of the drums. The three drums are gonna be your slicing, the medium, and fine graters. Those are all dishwasher safe, free shipping, and three flex. But let's get down to some business here, John. <laughs> well, it's so much fun, and it's so much easier because Cooking doesn't take time, right? I mean, yep. cooking happens pretty fast. It's the preparation that takes all the time in the kitchen. And this is what this speed uh, grater does. It's made by Chop, the folks at Chop. You know, the iconic show you see on TV. Yes. Everybody knows and loves. This, these are the tools that the chefs use. Mm -hmm. And it saves time. That's the whole idea, because time is money. And in a kitchen, mm -hmm. it's not to, well, watch this. Now look, I can take a bowl, take an entire English cucumber, and all I do is turn the handle. Every turn of the handle gives you four slices. So every time I crank this around, it speeds through that entire cucumber with, and here, here's what I think is the best part. Wow, look at the consistency in the cut. You don't waste anything. Right. And if you've ever slipped on one of these old four-sided tin can knuckle butchers, uh, busters, <laughs> look, you, how many nails and knuckles have been chopped off with one of those things? Owie. Because nothing protects your fingers. Mm -hmm. With the speed grater, all, you have this plunger at the top. So if you want to slice your cucumbers or radishes, you can do that. In fact, here I'll tell you what. But here's how here's how easy this is to use. Now I'm going to unlock it from the countertop to show you. Very simple to use, easy to clean. You place it on the countertop, and right here on the side is a little knob that you turn to lock it down. Now that's locked on Look any smooth surface in the kitchen. Granite countertops, marble, linoleum. Make sure it's dry, now, guys, because a lot of times you right put here, it down. Right here is a collar that turns to release the top. This is all dishwasher safe. Nice. Now I'm gonna turn this around and show you. Right here is how you change the blades. This little tab, all you do is pull that down, that pops the handle off. And the drums come out for easy cleaning. Again, dishwasher safe, pop it in the dishwasher, because let's face it, if a kitchen tool is hard to clean, we're never gonna use it, right? Yeah. Well, with the speed grater, it's so easy to clean, all stainless steel blades, so you don't have to worry about it. Now I'm gonna change this out. I'm gonna put this back together to show you how easy it is. I'm okay. gonna lock this on top. 
and then I'm gonna pick another drum. I'm gonna pick the coarse grating drum. You'll hear the handle snap on when it's ready to go, and then you take whatever it is that you like. Like maybe, for example, you wanna do some zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. Hard Italian cheese, Parmesan cheese, you can do carrots, coconut, or chocolate, and you never have to worry about busting a nail or knuckle again. But look at that, there's an entire zucchini grated up perfectly. How about for hash browns in the morning? Instead of taking a, or running a zucchini through there, you take a potato. If you like hash browns in the morning, all you do is turn, and look at this, you got hash browns faster than you can say cover them, smother them, scatter them, or, or whatever. All you do is turn the handle. You can do whatever you like on your hash browns, but you'll never bust another nail or knuckle. And here's a little tip too. This is gonna save you a ton of time, okay? And it saves you a little, uh, the, the, you'll get those beautiful hash browns. Soak these in cold water for about 10 minutes. It soaks the starch out of your potatoes, dry them off, then put them on a cookie sheet, or you can drop them into the hot oil or right into a frying pan. So but you got soak hash them in browns water? Go. For yep. Even if I'm just frying them up? Yep, the water, uh -huh. you know how hash browns, when you grate them, or potatoes, when you grate them, yeah. they clump up? Yes. They, well, they won't do that. They get oh, light and fluffy and they stay separated, nice. and they Great won't turn tip. brown in the air. And think now. about, there was no challenge there. I have one update, if yes. you don't mind my producers informing me. Okay. Uh, the red, we are final call out on the red. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get more back in stock, but this is final call out for the red. You have gray and you have black. Dishwasher safe. You're going to get three of the drums. You're going to get the coarse and the fine drums and the slicing drum. These are all stainless steel, so dishwasher safe. Get it at home today. Three flexible payments of $13.32. And keep in mind, this is a customer pick on hsn.com. Everyone is loving it, hands down. I always say to John, no one's getting chopped today. <laughs> <All right. laughs> because, well, know. the job's done so fast. I mean, you can do everything. How about, how about this? Radishes. You can do three or four radishes at one time and with that plunger all you do is push down and turn the wow. handle again every time you turn that handle it gives you four slices but let's move over to this one because in the kitchen for baking you're gonna love it for your breadings all right if you do any baking at all and make those bread crumbs okay instead mm -hmm. of buying uh, uh, graham cracker crumbs already made up for you or I used to watch my grandmother with a plastic bag and a rolling pin I right? still do that yeah. <laughs> you ever had the plastic bag break Yes. Yeah, and it scatters, it goes all over your kitchen. Yes. Look, all you do is turn the handle. Oh. Now, I put the fine grating drum in. Actually, this is the coarse grating drum, but that's a coarse grate. Okay, you can see the bigger chunks in there. I'm gonna change this out, though. I had the wrong drum in there. Can you believe it? Four years of college, but, and look at this. I used the wrong drum. How dare look, you? Look, all you do is snap the handle on, and watch the difference now, because I'm gonna use some saltines, because you can really get creative with a machine like this. Instead of, make, instead of buying breadcrumbs made up for you in the supermarket, you can do this by hand at home. I'm gonna put another rack in here, because I'll tell you, it goes so fast, it's like a hurricane of food coming out of the machine. It no really is. No kidding. And oh, by the way, get creative. Like I said, I'm going to turn this. I hear. How many times have you ever bought those those canisters of Italian breadcrumbs? Yes, okay, yes. made up for you. They've been sitting on the shelf for who knows how long. Yeah, take and all some the stale bread, or if you have a box of croutons at home, you can take croutons. It's the same thing as the Italian uh, breadcrumbs that you buy in that container. But now, just with a handful of croutons. You can bread yourself this way. Now you can make it all yourself. I mean, it saves you so much time, but you get what you, you, you're you eating What fresh. about like meatballs Here. and meatloaf? You're gonna and... love it. Yeah, for the breading for your meatloaf, yes. meatballs, all that stuff. We did some chicken the other day. I did this for the kids. Well, this is a couple of weeks ago. I gotta do it again because the kids loved it. Take some Cheez-Its, all right? Plop it in the here. And for chicken breaded with Cheez-It crumbs, it's, if you've never tried, hey, chicken breast breaded with Cheez-Its. Try it, you'll love it. The, kid, mm. the kids do anyway. Somebody told to me it. the uh, Dorito Ranches in the Cool Ranch yep. to do yep. those too, oh, like yeah. for dips. Doritos, absolutely. Could you imagine <laughs> like a cool, like the Cool Ranch with a ranch dip yeah, and then you, you sprinkle? Yeah, you get creative, have some fun. Ooh, that'd be so Here, good. watch this though okay. because. I'm no, sorry, oh. uh, red sold out. So oh, okay. I just don't want anyone to waste their time. Oh, that, so, so the red is completely gone. I'm just gonna pull this off our counter. But keep in mind, you still have the white or the gray. Uh, 500 in each or sell out here. So take a look at this. Take it away. Parmesan cheese with this fine grater. Take a look at the cheese that comes out of this machine. And it's so quick and easy. Next time you're doing your uh, pasta dishes, set this on your tabletop, right in front of the kids. They can grate wow, their own Parmesan cheese for your pasta dishes. And it comes out light and fluffy, fluffy, long and stringy. And again, all you're doing is turning that handle. It does the work for you. Now, watch the, oh, because hey, listen, a grater's not a grater unless you grate cheese, right? Here, but you can get, hey, have some fun with your 
your machine. I'm gonna put that coarse grater back in because you're gonna love this for your ice cream toppings. Okay, you do that so fast. Can you just show us how yeah. you do that? Again, I, there's, so a little, at home. there's a little clip back here on the back of the handle, okay? okay. You pull that down, it's spring-loaded, all right? That clip, when you lock it onto this, when you put the drum in the machine and lock it on, listen, you'll hear it click. Okay, that's how you change out the blades, or the drums. So you slide this in, and then put the handle on the back, and yeah, you're ready to go. I it's heard. that simple. Okay. Now, take a handful of almonds, walnuts, cashews, if you like cashews. I'm using peanuts right here. And I'm gonna have a little fun, because we're gonna do an ice cream topping. I'm gonna put a handful of M&Ms in the, in the cup, too. I could've put that so, on my popcorn. Yeah, look at that. That we just, if you got oh, the you popcorn do, you maker. You just turn the handle, and now you've got your ice cream toppings for cakes and pies and sundaes and all that good stuff. The kids can do this at home themselves. And now, here, you've got a little ice cream over here. I'm gonna take that oh, I thought you were and let sprinkle me do it. it right over the top of the ice cream. That's pretty. I, I come out beautiful. It's a great little topping. Oh, it but smells so good. You're going to have so much fun with this machine. I'm going to take a chunk of chocolate. Okay. And I'm going to place it on top and turn the handle. And look at this. For grated chocolate over your, uh, maybe you like it on a latte or a coffee or maybe over a cake hot or cocoa. a pie of hot cocoa. Add a little bit of that chocolate right to it. And again, oh, it's like a hurricane of chocolate coming out of there. And I want you to see this, okay? See the coarseness of that chocolate? It comes out beautiful and perfect for toppings. But watch the difference now I'm gonna change out the drum okay and now instead of the course I'm gonna put the fine drum in because there's three different drums that come with the machine drop another chunk of chocolate in and watch the difference it comes Can out I try it? super fine yeah. do you, you know do it's so handle. funny because I think you know like do I need arm strength you don't push down the harder you work the harder it is to use let the machine do the work for you you're and right I, <laughs> yeah it's so, so simple so don't see now I'm glad I did that because <laughs> right. a lot of us would get it at home and we have a tendency to want to push yep. down but you don't the, need to do it's that it's no work at all the what? harder you work the harder it is that to you that is so cool <laughs> But look at this. All you do is turn that handle, and look at how light and fluffy that chocolate comes out of there. Now, I'm going to show you the last blade with the slicing oh. blade, the slicing blade, because with this last one, real quick, watch this, because you're going to love this. If you do any baking, if you do it meringues, and you want to top off your meringue with some chocolate. Or like a French silk pie. Whoa, whoa. Look at this. See, you get the curls with the slicing <gasps> blade. Oh, that's And look beautiful. at that. That's chocolate curled up. Beautiful. For top, look at that. I mean, it's like chocolate bark did that you, you can do, put right over the top. Did you do pretzels? You know what? I can. In fact, that's a great idea because we can take some of this chocolate, we can spread it out over this one, okay? Oh. Never mind my fingers. I, 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 you know what's so funny? I've aired here. this with you like four <laughs> times, and I tell you, today is my day. I'm getting this because, I mean, this, I it's, don't know what I'm waiting for. But this is the coolest little thing for your kitchen. It's a great rods. gadget. Look at this. Pretzel rods. All you do is turn that handle. And look at this. For your ice cream top, if you've never taken caramel pretzel rods over yes. ice cream, it does not get any better okay. than that. So we're not going to go anywhere, but I, we're going to show you how that just went through that like butter. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you, can you do the potato again? Oh, yeah. Because I want you to see the smallest, easiest stuff. Yes, it can go through. But yep. a potato, which is hard Potatoes, and difficult. Potatoes, beets, apples, pears, cucumbers, zucchini. Right. It does it all. Can so you just show you the potato? Because yeah, sure. I want them to see from something easy you, to something yeah. hard. You want to slice? You put the slicing matter. insert in for okay. your homemade potato chips, for uh, scalloped potatoes or potatoes or gratin. And again, your fingers. See, here's the thing. When you get Thank down you. that close on one of these, what happens? You, you take off a nail or a knuckle, right? Did you right? put a Band-Aid on there? <laughs> He with, did. With this machine, you've got that cup, and, you, so, and you've got the, uh, the chute. So all you do is push and twist, and you get perfect potato chips, scalloped potatoes, or potatoes or gratin. But all you do is change out the blade, so if you don't want to slice okay, your potato. So 400 in the gray. So final call out, final, a final airing that we have this quantity available. So 400 in gray, 450 in the white. Everybody's going to get three drums, one slicing, one course, one fine. You get the push no plug needed. This. If you're a camper, oh, yeah. could you, like someone Look who has an RV, else. you don't need electricity for this. That's true. I just That's thought true. about that. <laughs> no I, electricity needed. I know. 561-993, thank you for being here. I'm eating some ice cream. I, I was just going to say, wait, oh. and this is perfect to go with the popcorn because now that we have all the chocolate and the M&M, oh, yeah. you could sprinkle that Absolutely. on your popcorn. Okay, how many gone of the popcorn? 
did you say? Okay, over a thousand of our popcorn maker have been spoken for. This is such a great item from Kelsey. It makes eight cups of popcorn. No chemicals, nothing. You think about those plastic bags that you put in the microwave and it's congealed butter and who even knows if it's butter. Uh, just this is a healthier way to make a delicious snack. $19.95 to get that at home with free shipping and two flex. We're gonna move into something I'm really excited to present. I know Carrie Maletto is joining us. Mm -hmm. And Carrie, I'm just gonna introduce you right away. Sure. Uh, Carrie brings us lots of great kitchen gadgets, kitchen products. And Carrie, I saw this and you were with Alice. Yeah. And this is the coolest little thing it's that so is going to keep your beer, your favorite beverage, whether it's a bottled beverage or whether it's a beer can or a soda can, a uh, ginger ale, uh, it doesn't matter. This converts from a beer can to a can. Can. Yeah, it does cans, it does bottles, it doesn't, you know, it's our frosty beer to so go, but it doesn't fascinated. have to just be for beer. This can be for any beverage that you want right. to keep cold for hours. And wait, so, you get two? So is, yeah, is that is that how it sound? No, I think it's one. A two, oh what no, okay, two? so yeah. you get you get one and you just choose. The two go can confused me. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna, you're gonna choose. Yeah. Do you want the silver? Do you want the black? So pretty. Uh, the black is what I'm getting. And then we have the copper. So black, copper, or silver. Yes. Uh, copper is the most limited, so that will go first. Uh, only a thousand of these remaining. It's the first time back since, they told me, July, Yeah, I think. it's been a while. Okay. And when we had these, they sold out because everyone got so excited. And if Great you look for at the summer. reviews, everybody's talking about these. You just mentioned tailgating about the popcorn. This is perfect for tailgating. Mm. This is a double walled vacuum sealed stainless steel. What that means is whether you're using this for your bottles or whether you're using this for your cans, it will keep them cold for hours. When I tested mine at home, I put a can inside. I took it out of my fridge. It was ice cold. I left it sitting on my counter just like this mm -hmm. for seven hours. I said, really? let me see what's going on. I came back, I took the can out and let me tell you, it was just as cold as the moment I put it in there. And that's what vacuum sealed does for you. So say this is going to be your favorite beverage. And again, it can be your soda. It can be your favorite beer. It doesn't have to be beer. Nobody, it can be anything. You know, but nobody likes yeah. a hot drink, you know, so you just place it inside just like that. And then this screws on. Now, what's great about this is it's a two in one. So now when we want to take it from can to bottle, I want to show you from the start, it looks like this. The lid actually this comes is awesome. off. There is a built in can opener in your lid. So no matter what you or bottle opener. So you'll always have your bottle opener with you. You'll never lose it. It's, it lives in your lid when that comes off this actually breaks down so here's piece one and then here's piece two so when you want to use this for cans I'm just going to place my can inside I'm just going to use the bottom piece because that's all I need to get it nice and tight when I want to use it for a bottle I'm going to take this back off I'm going to remove this I'm going to put my bottle in then I'm going to reattach these pieces so that's like Legos for adults I know it's really fun <laughs> but it's really important because this is going to keep your, your drink cold right <laughs> <laughs> with a good finish. Um, and then you just place it all on just like that. Again, boating, RVing, yeah. tailgating, I mean, honestly, sitting out by the pool. For someone who is a griller, I was reading one of the reviews because this so is nice. a customer pick on hsn.com. And he said, I love it for when I'm grilling outside because the grill is like 500 degrees. Yeah. It's hot outside. And he said his beer would get so hot so fast. And he said he came back for more. You can read the review. It's on hsn.com. Um, many of you were talking about pool parties parties, beach parties, um, just being in the outdoors, tailgating, RVs, as Carrie just mentioned, the boats. Uh, this is great for any of us. And I like how sturdy, how strong, how good looking this is. Yeah. The fact that it's double walled and insulated, so you're not going to have any sweating going on, like the no. condensation. No condensation. So it's really nice if you just want to like throw it in um, a, a car, you know, the rest or something like that. You're, you drive it along. You like your favorite soda, but you want it to be really yes, cold. Soda only. Soda only, please. Um, you know, but a lot of us have like little golf cart places that we go or you know, we hanging out in our boats. Um, yeah. We never want to bring our, our beers or, or anything um, in glass to a pool area or to the beach. Yes. We're always told no because they're glass because if this glass breaks, you're in trouble. But if you've got it covered like this, no matter what, when it falls, it's not going to break. It's protected in mm -hmm. here, right? Do I just hand wash it? Like, do, how do I care for it? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, this actually can, it's dishwasher safe. So okay. you can pop it in the dishwasher when you're done. Um, but what I, again, what I love about this is what's important, double walled vacuum vacuum sealed. We are the only one in the marketplace that does both cans and bottles in one. 
Oh. So this is hard. You, there's nowhere else to find this but with a Sobu. And again, when you start using this, you will this really be genius. so mesmerized by how many times you're going to use this, how many places you're going to use this. Uh, there was actually a review I saw where it was he was walking around and that everyone was asking. He was like, look what right. I got. Yes. Look what I got. Check this out. Yeah. And people are like, and, what are you carrying? Right. And everybody, a lot of the reviews that when you read them on HSN.com, most of the reviews, I can't say every single one of the reviews, but a majority of the reviews all talked about coming back and getting more because yes. they got, they purchased one and then they came back and said, oh, I need more for gifts. Think about the holidays, Christmas time. One of the things I was fascinated with is honestly, um, if you want the copper, the copper is going to be the first to sell out. How many left feeling. in copper? 150 in copper. We have stainless steel. And then I like the all black. I it's think this is very not, sleek. It's really sleek. It I is. Agree. And one thing I wanted to say, because looking at this, and even when I was watching the presentation from home, I thought like, oh, is the beer bottle going to move around in there? Or like if it's root beer or whatever. Uh -huh. But inside, there's yeah. this cool little like silicone ring at the bottom. Yes. So it stabilizes it. it. And, when you do your, and when you do your cans, I want to show you this one. You'll see that there's actually the ring around here. So what it's actually doing is it's grabbing a hold. There are certain cans, okay, that the large cans will not fit in here. The super size cans, only regular size 12 ounce, the 12 ounce oh, cans, okay? Oh, okay, you mean like the tall the ones? The tall ones okay. won't fit in here. And also, if you have like the really thick bottles, those ones, so we're talking about your- about Average 90, beer about bottle. About 95% of your regular beer bottles and okay. root beer bottles. Now, there are some bottles that are a little shorter, so they'll be just like a tad shorter. Okay. Those will fit doing it can style. And you'll oh. see, that's why we have the silicone ring here, so that it's gonna to grab a hold you also may have well it's seen. nice you have two in one so you yeah. can go from cans to a milk. bottle i did a milk bottle Aww. so if you have a child or a grandchild and you really want to keep their milk bottle nice and cold while they're you out you would want that to spoil there you go yeah you what a, here. that's very clever Isn't that fun? Uh, so 517-849 <laughs> is your item number 24.95 five dollars savings and you have the two flexible payments and this is just an incredible product that really you go why didn't i think about that it's, it's <laughs> instead of all those silly little foam ones that exactly. just degrade and exactly. don't really work. Um, <laughs> all right, we're moving along. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Um, we still have available, which, how many do we now have remaining? Okay, six. 100 now remaining and that is it. These are the final quantities for our chop speed grater and slicer. $20 savings today, simple, fast, easy. The gray and white are only two colors available. The red has completely sold out. This is dishwasher safe. You know, I always say the prep is the most laborious part of preparing and getting any meal ready in the kitchen. So this is making it simple, fast, and easy, non-skid base, so it suctions down. And remember, this is a customer pick, and this is something that you can slice. You get the slicing drum, and you get the fine and coarse grating drum coming included. But we're gonna continue right along because we're moving in to Mariah is joining us. And oh, before I get into that, I do have to share with everyone. Sorry, sorry everyone, I'm trying to get situated here. <laughs> All right, before we get started, into our next product. You know, we really scour the world with finding and sourcing the finest products to bring to you. And HSN's American Dreams is the ongoing search for our next great entrepreneurs. So we scour the globe to find up and coming inventors and the most latest and unique products. Just like this next product we're going to introduce for you. This is a product that was co-created along with her father. Uh, Mariah Ibrahim is joining us. And she brings us the Eat Cleaner Fruit and Vegetable Wash and Wipes Kit. This was something that was at a necessity for you. Definitely. That you said, you know what, there's a lot of fruits and veggies and on the market that I want to be able to eat, but with all the recalls, with all the pesticides, all the chemicals that they're treating these fruits and vegetables yes. for, I don't want to ingest them. And the biggest Completely. thing that you said to me that was so powerful was water alone is not a cleanser. It's not. And a <laughs> lot of us, Mariah, think that water cleanses our fruit and vegetables. Exactly. But it isn't, is Exactly. It? Well, you don't wash your plates with water alone. You don't wash your, you know, your hands Laundry. with water alone. You don't even wash your hair with water alone. Right. So why would you wash the produce that comes from the ground that's been sprayed, fertilized, touched by 30, 40 different... Sat on a hands. trunk. And let me show you because okay. this is what I call the magic broccoli trick. Because right. most of the time, what do people do? They bring home their produce and they run it under the sink Kind of something like this, right? Right. And what does that do? 
the but water we think splashes we it. over that and it just beads up on the surface and does really nothing. Okay. Now, when I take our Eat Cleaner wash, which is the only triple action patented wash on the market, and that means it's formulated to help remove over 99% of the pesticide residue, chemicals, waxes, and the junk that can carry bacteria that can really make you sick. Okay. Now you spray the surface of all your produce. You can wash everything, your leafy greens, your strawberries, your um, your potatoes, your blueberries, but look at what happens. When you pour the water over the top, it runs oh, right my word. through. So you know you're actually getting under the surface to clean what water can't. And the truth is, most of those coatings are not water soluble. Look you at can even, even the color. see the difference in the color. And you know, not with Can I taste this? You cannot taste any, any trace of the product on your food. Okay, and it's all and natural, I'm gonna demonstrate. right? It's totally all natural. Okay. It's fruit acids, antioxidants. Look, ah. Look spray that. it right in my mouth. That is amazing. We created it so that it would be safe for families to use. Okay, let me share with you what we're including because this is a brand new configuration for fall. It is our lowest price we've ever offered. We're going to include the 12 ounce of the fruit and vegetable wash spray. So you get that coming included. We're also going to include as well the wipes. So the wipes are a 32 count pack. And then we're also going to include, as you can see, Maria, who is cleaning the vegetables with the wipes. So even great to take with you to work if somebody Absolutely. they have apples or fruit and things like that uh, then you're going to get 10 of the single serve refill wipes these are all natural tasteless odorless uh, lab tested to really help take all of those chemicals pesticides up to 99 percent so you know now guess what we're not ingesting those chemicals and pesticides and to add to that you know i hear a lot of people say well i've tried produce washes i don't really know if they work right. we've done the, the work research. we've done the research my dad's a scientist we had to do that. But I want to show you one other okay, thing that our do product it. does that nobody else does is it helps to extend shelf life. Wow. So you can bring your produce home, wash it. One of the, the things that we hear from customers all the time is they want to eat more produce, but they don't want to throw their money away. Right, because it, are it gets rotten so fast. You're making your money tenfold by using the product. So how does that work? It's, like, Do you spray it the moment you get home? You spray it the moment you bring it home, just wash everything, give it a quick rinse, pat it dry or let it air dry, mm -hmm. and then put it in a sealed container, okay. you'll get strawberries that can last eight days. I've had them last up to 21 days versus not. Same with the so leafy wait, greens. Wait, just to clarify. Yeah. So in the front, this is, you brought them home and did nothing to them. Right. And then this is using our Eat Cleaner, fruit and wash cleaner, right? Eight days later. Eight days later. Look at the difference between the two. And you can try those. And wow, I would love tell to. Tell me what I you think. See how they taste. Wow. Same with leafy greens. And by the way, leafy greens are the number one cause mm -hmm. of food foodborne incredible. illness. You really need to make sure that you wash your greens well. You probably heard a lot about outbreaks and recalls. But right. look at this gross wax. I oh. mean, this yeah. wax has fungicides and chemicals in it, and it seals what's on the surface. You cannot remove these waxes with water alone. Yeah. They are not water soluble. Wouldn't you rather eat this? Right. And you're getting food that tastes better, it lasts longer, and it's the way nature intended. We, right. Nature didn't intend to have these added waxes. Well, even on the apple. I mean, look at the difference in the apple. I always say, I said to Maria, I, I was like, I can never clean the apple. Like, mm -hmm. I just use water because I don't think about using soap on it, and then you don't want to ingest the soap. Right. This is tasteless, odorless, gluten-free, <laughs> vegan-free. I mean, this is for all of us who have always thought about, oh, gosh, did I get all the chemicals off? Did I get the pesticides off? You know, it sat on a truck. It sat, how many people touched the fruit? Even in the grocery store, Completely. when it's sitting there and everybody, you see everybody go like this, <laughs> okay, is this the right firmness? And they're touching all the fruit and then you take it home. How are you cleaning it? How are you getting the germs and the bacteria off the fruit? And you're getting at least a three month supply. So literally, this is the best price. We have never offered this price right. before. You can't get it How anywhere online. How did you come online. up with this, Maria? So my father got really sick and he was told in his recovery to avoid raw produce, mm -hmm. especially leafy greens, because again, they're the number one cause of foodborne illness. And as a chef and somebody with yeah. a nutrition background, I thought that's insane. We need to be able to make food safer and, and just something that 
is easy for people to use, that's affordable, that's good for the environment. So we created our line. It's the only patented lab proven line on the market. And you get the wipes, which is great. We're cleaning the mushrooms with those. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want to just grab a snack from the right. farmer's market or for the, from the grocery store. Better to grab an apple or a pear or a plum than a bag of chips, for right. example. And I even think of like grandmas and grandpas. Like when your grandbabies come over and they're wanting a snack and you want to give them something healthy. And then like, oh, yeah. it, I mean, imagine having the wipes for just that quick wipe of the apple or like a plum or a peach. How many of us are really Try cleaning? Try the grapes. I mean, if the you The grapes, clean... when was the last? I mean, most of us just use water. Totally. Well, if you put these out on the counter, I okay. guarantee you mm, they're going to too. inhale these. If you want to get your family to so eat great. more produce, wash it so that it's ready to eat when you are. Half the problem is your produce ends up rotting in the in the refrigerator. Right. In those plastic bags, they suffocate in there. How many uses do you think on average does someone get out oh, of? Oh, there's at least 500 sprays wow. in one bottle. And we just okay. redesigned our bottle, which we're really excited about. It's a heavy duty trigger sprayer. You can leave it on your countertop so it's a rem reminder to always wash your produce when you bring it home. Because yes. sometimes we forget. Right. Leave it out, and then it's ready when you are. So you get the 12 ounce sprayer, you get and the refill, the, and, and the refill, and then you're also going to get the wipes. So the wipes come included. That's a 32 count, and then you're also going to get the refill packets, which are 10 of those. Uh, Maria, thank you for being here. Thank you. This is something so I'm to trying today too, because especially for my husband. So thank awesome. you so much. Such a um, stay tuned. We have Dash coming up next. our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. Well, now that we've washed and cleansed all of those fresh fruits and veggies, we want to make delicious, healthy smoothies, right? But a lot of times when we make our smoothies, what happens? They congeal. They separate. They don't taste as good as they taste when we go to that fancy smoothie shop. You want to know why? Because they have blenders like what Dash is bringing to us today that actually, as odd as this sounds, actually removes the oxygen from your smoothies. Your purees, your soups, uh, your favorite margaritas and your drinks, right? So now everything tastes better. There's no separation. There's no oxidation. And we're offering the lowest price we have ever offered. So we have it in the black, we have it in white, and we have it in red. We're even going to include the vacuum tube, the blending jar, and the small vacuum sealed bags that you're seeing here. You're going to get five small, five large, and then 24 recipes covered coming included, here's that blending jar, which is going to be one and a half liters coming included. Now I'm going to introduce Kelly because a lot of us are listening to this and we're going, do I really care Hi. about removing the oxygen? Yes. Um, do, do I need it? Yes. Um, yes. You and do. Yes, if right? you've ever had a smoothie, I'm going to grab this okay, one down yeah, front, sorry. that congeals and gets gross and separates Look, out. Cool. This is what oxygen does to your smoothie. This happens to be a red smoothie, whether it's a green smoothie, purple smoothie, whatever you're doing in the morning. You ever choke that down? Oh, yes. You do it because you think it's healthy, but it's like you just, you don't do it for very long because it gets that congeal situation. Mm -hmm. It's because you're blending oxygen into your smoothie. So Dash has decided, well, the technology came out in smoothie stores. They're thousands of dollar blenders. Dash came up with this technology to make it yeah. affordable. For it's the home. lowest price we've ever done. I'm going to do it side by side. This is a traditional blender right here. Maybe one you have, great blender actually, $200 blender. And it doesn't vacuum, it just blends. 
blends with oxygen. This blends without oxygen. Okay, okay. this is our dash blender. So I'm gonna hit auto. What the dash blender does is it actually gonna remove the oxygen and then start blending. Once this machine here, the dash, starts blending, I'm going to blend a traditional smoothie. Maybe the way you're doing it at home with your regular blender. What's happening when you're blending a regular smoothie, unless you drink it immediately, and I mean within 15 to 20 minutes, mm -hmm. it starts to oxygenate, which means the food starts to break down and congeal. It starts to get gross and it starts to lose nutrition. So uh, oxygen is an enemy oxygen of food. Oxygen is the enemy of food, we okay. know this. And then when you blend oxygen into your smoothie without removing it first, you're getting a less than desirable smoothie, okay? Most most of us have that situation where we just don't like that experience. It may be your barrier to drinking smoothies. You might not like the taste or the texture once it congeals. So let's do the side by side. This one's gonna start to blend. I'm gonna blend that one next door to it. And you're gonna see what happens when you blend without the presence of oxygen. What you're doing is you're removing the barrier to the, to the congealing. You're also preserving the nutrition. So for example, Robin, if you want to cut your fruit on a Sunday night, and if you make a 50 ounce smoothie, you could still be drinking that same pitcher of smoothie on Thursday or Friday. Wow. You can cut once and drink all week. That's another barrier to healthy drinking. Look at the color differentiation. I was just gonna say You can that. already see live, right in front of your eyes, the color difference. Now, this machine is telling us it's done. So look what's happening here. This is a regular 800 watt blender. This is a Which 800 watt vacuum blender. It's the color difference in nutrition, plus I'm gonna show you the texture difference. So okay. I'm gonna open this one up and you can hear what's so cool. That's why this looks different. I was because gonna say, it's is a that vacuum. why you need it? Yeah. Oh. So listen, there's the oxygen, right? We removed it. So when you lift up that little tab, it allows you to open the lid, obviously, because you've removed the oxygen. Okay. okay, look at the consistency of this smoothie. It's almost like a pasteurized apple juice. It's so thin and beautiful, easy to drink. Look at all the nutrition remains. It's that beautiful bright green. I love your face. Cause she's like, really? It's really, uh, this like, is a regular, exact same I've nutrition. I've never aired this with you before. Exact so same I ingredients in each smoothie. Up until now we've been drinking this. Okay, look at the oxygen. Look at the foam. Well, look at the color. Look at the color difference. I mean, yeah, it's let's unbelievable. Just take the the exact same so ingredients blended for the exact same amount of time. This one, we remove the oxygen. This one is the one you've been drinking the whole time. You might let this one run a little longer. It didn't look like it even blended everything together. Look at that one. Which would you rather drink? Oh, and by the way, if we sat here for the next two hours, this would separate, this would remain smooth. Really? It's amazing what happens when you delete the oxygen from your smoothie. Now, this could be for soups, margaritas. Okay. It could be for anything. But it's not just a vacuum blender. You can use it as a regular blender, too. So it's replacing your blender, it's adding the vacuum feature, and it's adding your food saver. I mean, because honestly, it's a food saver. I'm speechless. Yep. I mean, amazing? I've never seen anything like this. And I'm assuming, tell me if I'm wrong, yes. I want you to tell me if yes. I'm wrong. Um, the vitamins, the minerals, yep. the nutrients Absolutely. are intact in DASH. Absolutely. Because we haven't destroyed them with oxygen. Yep, you're all, and this, it's already starting to congeal. The animation is actually showing you what's happening on the inside. Look at the oxygen leaving the food. Yeah, you're actually deleting the oxygen. That's what you see with the marshmallows. It's eliminating it so that, like you just said, the nutrition wow. remains, right? Yeah. You get a better consistency. You get a healthier smoothie. The problem is most people have never heard of a vacuum blender before because it didn't exist in the, you know, in the consumer home until Dash brought it onto the scene. There were thousands of dollars. Most of us aren't spending thousands of dollars on a smoothie. Look, look. Look. I mean, that's the, and look at the, look at the congealing. Not to interrupt you, but we have to Already go back. Already happening with this one. And this is live. This is the one you've been drinking and choking down and doing it because it's healthy. Look at how much healthier that one is. That's the difference. Um, but no, not, wait, can I just pause you for a second? Yes. Because you said to me something so important when we met uh, pre-show. Yes. Kelly told me, like, I, she goes, do you make smoothies? And I'm like, yes, I make smoothies. Yep. But I was like, I make them the morning I'm you gonna drink to. them. But you I have never it. have time in the morning because trying to get out the door. Yep. Well, now you, you can, can make it Sunday night. And if you re-vacuum seal the jar, which all it takes is what I'm doing here, press of a button, you could still be drinking that 
exact same smoothie Thursday or Friday. Four days yeah, later. Yeah, Thursday or Friday. Yep, oh if you cut Sunday night. Now, why are we fruit. putting a balloon in here? Well, I'm just showing you what's happening. It's so hard for us to show you oxygen, oxygen. leaving a pitcher. So that's that's probably going to pop here any minute. But um, I'm just showing you what happens. And then watch that balloon. Stay tight on that shot because I want to show you that's trying to remove the oxygen from the balloon, obviously, is what's happening. Ready? When I allow the oxygen to go back in. So that you can see. It's physically a vacuum system. Now, before now, you've never been able to vacuum liquids like this, mm -hmm. right? You've been able to vacuum foods, and it was your food saver or your food storage device. Now this becomes both. Ready for this? You're getting the vacuum tube, uh -huh. which all you do is there's one end and it attaches to the top, right? That's why this blender looks so funky, right? It looks so futuristic because this is also your food saving system. Okay, there's that's a, genius. There's a button that says vacuum. So obviously when I'm not blending anything, I'm okay. gonna hit that vacuum. Oops, you gotta turn the machine on first, power. And then you hit vacuum and you're getting 10 bags or 20 bags. Look at that. Yeah, you're, you're getting get, um, 10 of the small and 10, 10 of, the of the large, large. gallon bags. And you can now save. Well, your actually, food. it says five. Do you oh, get five? You get five small, um, five large. I think you get ten and ten. Uh, okay, we'll have, wrong. Five we'll and five or no, ten and we ten. Wanna there have, you go. We'll have Jared check. Yeah, check that out for us. But look at it removing the oxygen from the bag. So it is vacuum sealing your food, whether it's your chicken breast that you're getting on BOGO and you want to preserve, or whether it's your spinach or your herbs. You know, herbs go bad so quickly. You're getting the bags coming included. You're getting the tube, and then you're also getting the uh, the jars so you can actually vacuum seal your dry goods so you're not going to actually see anything happening here but you're now leaving this so that your rice or maybe your oats maybe your brown sugar doesn't get stale you're actually eliminating oxygen so now you can vacuum seal dry goods as well wow isn't that neat so you're getting everything but how would you store that like well i would have store to this leave right in my in pantry the, in your yeah you, no, leave, you can buy extra jars oh that's because there's asking. no this isn't the blender this is the extra jar. Oh. Your blender comes too. Nice. So you'll be so using you this and storing with this and you can buy the extra jars. Lots of people like to pick uh, up extra jars. Okay, so the extra jars, I'll uh, see if Jared can find that item number on hsn.com because Jared, I don't have that on my information. Um, we do want to share with you, black is the most popular this afternoon. We have the lowest price we have ever offered. So we're taking, when you look at the $211.22, we're taking over $100 off today. That is more than 50% off. You choose the black, you want the white or the red. We also are going to include the the jar as well. The so you can the storage for jar goods. Yep. for dry goods. Then you're going to get the huge container, which is nice. I mean, it's not. I mean, it is big. It's 50. one and a half liters, yeah, 50 right? Ounces, yep. Yeah, 50 ounces there. You're also, we're still up in the air, Jared, on if it's five bags or 10 bags of small and large. Okay, they're saying five of the large, okay, five, five of, of the, the large, five of the small. No okay. problem. You're getting those coming included. By the okay. way, bags are reusable, dishwasher safe as oh, well. Oh, good. So okay. you can put your herbs in them one day and your chicken breast in them the next day. I'm doing another side by side. So you heard that vacuuming the air out. This is just a regular tomato juice. So maybe you want to use this for, you know, your beautiful fresh soup. Um, you're going to be able to do that as well. In fact, obviously from the dash blender. So this is what happens when you make a fresh soup, right? A tomato soup or a beer cheese soup or something like that. You can already see just by looking at that shot, the color differentiation, the one that's using oxygen is already starting to foam, right? It's already starting to lose the color. It's also not as good of a consistency. So I'm gonna turn these both off and look, you can see this one is a bright red. This one is sort of already starting to lose the consistency. So whether you're getting this and you're doing your, you know, traditional, maybe you're doing traditional margaritas. Right. And you don't have to always use it as the vacuum feature. That's what I love about this. It's a three-in-one machine. It's your vacuum blender. Well, how do I know when I should use it as a vacuum? Soups and smoothies. Soups and Soups smoothies. Soups and smoothies. If okay. you're making a margarita and you're going to drink it right away, don't need to remove the oxygen. Okay. Maybe you're doing... Would um, it taste better, though, if I did? I love the vacuum feature. It would okay. be creamier. It'd so be creamier. I use it all the time. There's no downside to removing the oxygen. You just right. don't have to do it all oh, the time. Okay. And I like to tell people, this is going to replace a traditional blender. It's an 800 watt blender. Right. So it's still a high power blender. Okay, look at our soup. We're just going to pour it in a little clear glass here, and Oops. I'm going to spill it everywhere. <laughs> but you can see, look at the color in that soup, that tomato soup, or your red smoothie. And now, look this wouldn't heat it up, would it? Here. No, this no you'd have it. to, okay, so you'd look have to this. heat it up. All right, okay. which are you going to, re would you, which would you rather mm. be drinking or serving? You can see the texture, the consistency is so creamy here. 
and look at this one already starting to degrade and congeal. We'll go back to the one we just created if you're just joining us. This was created wow. live. Look at the beautiful smoothie, you know, five, 10 minutes later, and look at the one created using oxygen. That's what happens the instant that you, you know, blend oxygen right. into your so smoothie. So the difference with this blender is it removes the oxygen. Why is that important? Because your food, your smoothies, your soups taste better. You, you do not alter the vitamins, yep. the minerals. You don't alter those. You're not, you know, you're not adding all that oxygen Yep. which is a destroyer of the food. Of the food. We of say the here food. all the time at HSN that oxygen is the enemy of food, right? That's why right. we, we that's give why you I think oxygen. That's why things spoil. Yeah, that's why things spoil. That's why right. we give you the, you know, the leak-proof, spill-proof food storage. Right. But when you blend oxygen into your food, that's why it degrades so quickly because you're actually adding oxygen into the process. Right. Typically, if you're going to drink your smoothie immediately, I would say, you know what, probably not going to make that much of a difference. But many of us want to take our smoothie with us to work or, or drink it right. five or six hours later. Yeah. You can't do that when you're blending oxygen into it. So what are we, I, I want. So this one is going to be an almond milk. So okay. this you can do, this is what we're showing. This is a traditional 800 watt high power blender that even can do almond milk. Wow. Yep. Um, so as you watch that happen before your eyes, we are at the lowest price. We are taking 53% off of our retail value. Also ask about your 100 best juices and smoothies and healthy snacks. This cookbook is fantastic. The item number for this is 594026. It is $19.99 for this. This will work for any blender that you already have. If you're picking this up today, I definitely would grab this. It'll give you lots of inspiration so you never get bored. But look at this almond milk. Look at the almond milk. You can get the chemicals, the preservatives out of your food, and you're going to have the most beautiful experience with your brand new vacuum blender. You will. So, uh, congratulations on getting this today. Cheers to your great health. 5865. Four, three. It was so much fun shopping with you. Kelly, thank you so much. All right, for my being friend. Here. I got a smoothie waiting for you. Oh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. Carrie's coming up next. I'll see you tomorrow for Lunch Rush at noon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.